Listen, the orcs never need more Daka. Anyway, hello everyone! This time we're learning about Night City! And the wonderful world of Cyberpunk 2077. It's honestly horrifying. Some of the things that are in here, but um... We'll learn about them and see where we go from there. How does that sound, Chrono? Pretty good. Anyway. Time to learn about the trauma team. Med Center. Have you ever been walking down the neon streets minding your own business after grabbing a bite to eat at Tom's Diner and suddenly out of nowhere a crazy gang member or god forbid a cyber psycho has threatened your life wanting your chrome or your money? Have they got to the point where they have fired their gun at you and knocked you on the floor bleeding out giving you- Uh, do you know what a cyber psycho is, Chrono? No idea. Uh, do you know how they have all these augmentations like metal- replacements on their body yeah well they need uh immune deficient deficiencies i should say oh hello mm -hmm. daisy hi daisy uh basically it's someone that's got like fully cyberized but uh their body is rejecting their um augmentations so they go insane uh -oh. because here's the thing your body like, your antibodies in your body, your white blood cells, sense when something is not supposed to be part of your body. And there he says, hey, that's not supposed to be there. Get that out. So you need uh, amino, to, basically, to suppress it. <laughs> and um, uh, when that doesn't happen, they go insane and start going on rampages. Killing rampages. Oh. Yeah. Yeah you only a few moments to call someone that can help save your life or well, have no fear it's fine. because for just this a is few Chrono. hundred slash thousands of dollars a month <laughs> you can get the best treatment out there one team who will take only seven minutes to get to your body that is losing blood faster and faster and yeah. package dependent will save you from the inevitable flatline this team is package dependent basically means is what life pa what package you have like it's an insurance package yeah it's yeah. your local trauma team who together with a large number of their close corporation partners will give you the best treatment Amazon you Medicare. For Kinda, in yeah. time of need. But who are these amazing people on the trauma team that I speak so highly of whilst totally not being paid by their higher ups? What makes <sighs> them stand out from the regular medics? How have they changed over the years and what do you get from being with them? Well in today's avatar, uh, I mean video, we will be exploring Night City's medical corporation and how they can save your life when you travel. This is the story behind Cyberpunk medical corporation known as trauma team yeah if i remember the first mission you actually are helping trauma team oh. yeah the first mission in the game also um you probably if you ever play this game crow censor the first mission in the, the game corporation of trauma team isn't oh, really? actually a you see uh city pieces corporation instead the oh. trademark of trauma team international now currently spreads throughout most of north america with its headquarters being based within seattle washington this team oh. currently also now has locations based within as mentioned most cities in north america tokyo and of course night city originally hmm. found within seattle before the year of 2020 this corporation noticed that okay stop with the bent in lore of it gap in the market for personal medical assistance hmm. and now as america was suffering more and more violence due to a wide variety of things such as the data crash the rising gang warfare and nomad clans and the many wars america wanted to get themselves involved in to benefit from different trade routes and all such as the central american wars this was the perfect time for them to set up as uh. trauma team international did set up violence and crime rates rose massively within the united states and because of that this wow. corporation became easily one of the most powerful within all of america gaining clients almost okay. every second this immediate rise in power allowed them to then spread into canada i didn't think they were Europe, that big and then eventually reaching into japan by the year 2020 mm. over a dozen trauma team crews would be sent into major cities at a time to help with the injuries and deaths by natural causes which was honestly quite rare and crime related <laughs> deaths as trauma team went natural to causes dying of natural causes is a luxury in night city Night City, they would build a large medical hospital within Little China, within the Watson District, which would also give the public access to its own Night City Area Rapid Transit Service, which huh. ran from the Med Center to other parts of the larger city. These members of Trauma Team are indeed some of the best- Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this, Carl. You know how bad it is in Night City? 
with okay. all of this. They have a lottery every morning over how many people died, if you can guess the number of how many people died that day, the day before. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's really bad. Paramedic techs and staff money could buy from all over the world with no money being spared within this corporation. And many people really respected them when they'd see them on the streets. With all of that said, it sounds like the most perfect medical system you could ask for within the city. And most will probably think they'd want them in theirs without hesitation. However, trauma team hasn't gotten to where they are today without asking their clients to pay a pretty penny for their services. Within the yeah. 2020s, the trauma team business model was said to be split into three types of coverage. The first First was the full body life coverage, which would either cost the client 500 euro dollars per month or 5,550 euro dollars a year. With oh, this, damn. you would get full access to Trauma Team. However, if you were to call them out to help with your condition, you would have to pay. Oh, it was such a winning line number. Oh my god. A further 100 euro dollars for every minute they were out on your call, and that would not stop ticking away until your arrival or their arrival at the nearest corporate med center. With that oh. said, Trauma Team, with this package, for example, would not be obliged to actually take you to a hospital or what? med center. Here they would be responsible for reviving and stabilizing your condition, even if that was you being critically wounded. And once that was done, if you were not on a good enough package, they would just leave and bill you once they got wow. back to the med center or hospital. On top of that, if a trauma team is sent into an area in which they would have to use their weaponry, the client who called them out would also have to refund them for all the ammunition they used. God as well as the damn! They used to get there and mm. any equipment and personnel damage. Whilst this is the most popular service for the people within their cities, there is one benefit they can have if Trauma Team do not get there within 10 minutes. And that oh. is the customer will receive 50% off of the cost of spent That's ammunition. Good. So you could have lost your life thanks to them being late, at least you will not have to spend an absolute fortune on their ammunition. Instead, your corpse will only be charged 50% of it. And oh my pay God. It, it doesn't really matter. That's for you to sort out or your closest relative anyway. The second Good coverage Lord. within the 2020s was one called corporate coverage or the more expensive corporate executive coverage, which would okay. cost the customer 1,500 euro dollars per month or 16,500 euro dollars a year for the corporate cover and 12,000 euro dollars per month or 120,000 euro dollars a year for the executive cover. With this plan, you are guaranteed a response time of just seven minutes. And when the team arrive, they absolutely will take you to the corporate medical okay. Center, but the client will still have to pay for equipment or personnel damage for the regular corporate cover anyway. For the wow. executives, they will not have to pay a penny for well, any then. of this. However, yeah, paying 12,000 euro dollars a month, I don't think anyone would expect you to. The plan above, however, is known as the high priority coverage, which will set you back 34,000 euro dollars every month. And due to how expensive this service is, there is no yearly charge. It is only monthly. Maybe due to the nature of the people taking this cover out. With this yeah. plan, the client who takes it out will gain the gold Trauma Team Inc. card and will be guaranteed a response time of three to five minutes, which they claim is the fastest in the business. Three to five. Out, the client that needs picking up and care will be collected and taken, not to a med center, but to a corporate hospital instead. Luckily for oh. the client, they will not have to pay for hmm. any ammunition and fuel used when they come to collect them. However, surprisingly, they will still have to pay for any equipment or personnel damage. So really what uh. made these plans different within the 2020s well two small things response time and location of where the client goes the ones who paid more are more likely to survive any critical condition and yeah will be taken to a luxury bed. i feel like that's a given the more they pay the more likely you are to survive because of trauma team yeah that's fine bunny if you can't spell it hey but yeah it's kind of expected the more they pay the more likely trauma team will save their lives that's cover. trying to give them an incentive the benefits will more to pay more. Or not bleed out on the street, and even if they are recovered, will just be left there on the street. This time with some bandages and with their heart beating again. By 2022 okay. and 2023, the fourth corporate war had taken place, and for the trauma team, this was their busiest period they had ever experienced, which could be seen ah. as a good thing financially. However, they were struggling massively because of the war, and their resources were becoming very limited. With okay. so many calls coming in almost every 
every minute, the corporation had to change up their policies to make sure the right people were being seen to. Due to the nature of the war being started by both corporations of Arasaka and Militech, Trauma Team oh. declared that they would take absolutely no calls from either side. This could have been seen as a way to show their neutrality, to make it so both corporations kept them in their good books for when the war comes to an end. This allowed Trauma Team to focus only on civilian requests, but with a new catch. This was the mm. combat rate. If anyone so much as fired a weapon within half a kilometer of their premises, they would be charged for it. And ah, this is to keep them from sh accidentally get shooting at uh, them, basically. This yeah, is mostly to keep them in check so that they don't, uh, you know... Decided to get a little antsy around them. Quite substantially as well. Despite this new policy focusing only on civilians and adding new charges to their finances, trauma teams still struggled within the corporate war as the calls were mounting the more battles that were happening all over okay. the world. That makes sense. They just don't have enough bodies to get the rest the of the bodies. The fourth corporate war had finally yeah. come to an end, and fortunately for the trauma team, they had survived it. But it had meant that they had to only focus on regional areas instead of full international cover. This was because the war had devastated their suppliers, and as a result of this, repairs for their AV4s were becoming hard to come by, as well as things like medical dressings, key drugs, vaccines, oh, and trained personnel. That's With not more good. And more hospitals and clinics collapsing due to the lack of resources and funding, quite a lot of patients who were still ill or were wounded would find their plans with the trauma team changed to just the basic rate. Most Ooh. of the reasons were due to the fact that many of the ill and injured in Oh dear. Anyway. Individuals could not afford I know I didn't say much right there, but I was just looking at chat real quick. Anyway. This is, oh wow, just lack of medical supplies has caused them to p force people back to the basic plan. That's some... Um, wow. I honestly didn't expect this to be a part of that. The high response fees that had more than likely gone up due to how high in demand they had become. Despite yeah. that, however, it was reported that many edge runners were going on to buy single trauma team cards that they would then break into to trick them into thinking they were called out priorities in the hope that trauma oh. team could provide them with regular treatment for their wounded team members due to the nature of their work. Due to the recent events in recent years, these trauma teams would undergo an image change as well. Not really by choice, but because they had to due to how the world had changed them. The teams would now swap out their basic blue and yellow uniforms that had displayed their compassion to their fellow man, and now they would be heavily armed to allow them to deal with anything on their job. These trauma team workers, oh. almost troopers at this point, would all operate using extremely advanced and protective armor. They would go on to fly into a medical <laughs> emergency with the latest and greatest in flight engineering, that being their own new TTI medical AV4A. Which so this is in how house so they had oh. all this stuff in house what they had to restructure all this this is crazy be an extremely lightweight aerodyne that could get in and out of tight spaces with ease and had heavily protected armor on it to make sure that if any were to be God attacked damn. it could hold off from the heaviest gunfire it might experience with that said they won't exactly run from a fight if they need to as the av will be heavily armed with a front mounted gatling gun as well as 7.62 saw machine guns which are mounted to the sides of the vehicle in which the security specialist would be sitting by with mobile mm. tanker trucks and the ground refueling station coming with them as backup within oh. this team would be the main pilots with the co-pilot sitting next oh they to got comics the front mounted gatling gun with neither of these individuals leaving the aerodyne at any moment ready to go at any moment's notice and fire at anyone who does not comply with their methods and requests behind the pilots God are damn. the security specialists who as mentioned will watch over the vehicle with their saw machine guns and then directly Oof. behind them are the actual emts Oof. who would go on to do the actual extraction operation and would be the main medical staff on the scene. If mm -hmm. the operation does look a bit dodgy or risky, the security team will escort the EMTs out of the vehicle and will clear... They have an A-10 Warthog as an ambulance. Basically. A ...path for them utilizing their rifles and submachine guns. And will most of the time... Basically, they have an fire. entire group just defending the EMTs. More or less. Ah. Which shows how they had to change their They're tactics. Just there to intimidate anyone in their Makes way. Sense. However, they will kill anyone or massively wound them if they try anything and will just leave them to die. To the Trauma Team Corporation, the Hippocratic Oath doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, heal, not they harm. They are there to help the client that has called them out 
for assistance. If they have to kill non-clients to get to them, so be it. Keeping the peace is not really their job. They are a corporation, after all. Not only that, but yeah. their respect from their fellow man has gone at this point. What was yeah. once the comfort of trauma team coming in to help That's a PMC protecting medics, basically. Armed. Yeah, they don't have a Hippocratic Oath anymore. <laughs> To heal and not harm. Armed, overworked, harried, angry, and impatient workers who would not deal with anyone kindly anymore. Hmm. They were at the end of their tether with the citizens thanks to how much bloodshed they had seen on a regular basis. By yeah. the end of this year, Trauma Team International yeah. had been reduced massively and now went under the branding of simply Trauma Team North America, which would be independent franchise owned groups that would patrol cities There's and respond to insured victims I don't once know. again. Because of this change in business model, the corporation couldn't charge what it once did and during 2045 a new planning scheme went ahead with only okay. two covers available to people for the corporate cops of america they would be given special treatment allowing them to have full medical coverage by trauma team for anyone else okay. they had the choice between silver coverage and executive coverage silver coverage was exactly the same as the standard membership from 2020 where it would cost the client 500 euro dollars per month but if the client needed surgery they would then have to cover the cost for what they went under with that said however if a client did not want to pay extra for hospital treatments, the trauma team would do everything in their paramedical abilities to help them before dropping the member off at a hospital, which would most likely force the client to have to pay regardless. God the executive damn. cover, it was relatively the same thing. It cost €1,000 a month and included all the same things as the silver coverage. However, the only difference this time was the client on this plan would not have to pay for any surgery treatments. Okay. Essentially, 2045 brought about a system which many in America could afford compared to what they offered ah. back in the 20s. However, with that said, thanks to the recent war, many people were now homeless and jobless and still could not afford the treatment. And even if they could, the treatment trauma team offered now was filled with contempt. The loving medics that mm. were once around within the 2020s had turned to almost soldiers who were only doing their job. And their yeah. clients were just there to make God money damn. for their corporation. For 30 That's years, tough. trauma team continued as a small organization until it got to a point within 2077 where finally they had enough resources to set up as Trauma Team International once again, allowing ah. them to regain all of their previous assets lost within the fourth corporate war. This didn't mean that the world had changed however as once again gangs were on the rise and the crime rate was skyrocketing. Due to this rising crime, Trauma Team International could once again raise the pricing of their services and with Damn the it. rising prices would once again equip their of team. Of course they would immediately raise the prices once they got all their stuff yeah. back with the latest uh. weaponry and machinery by Kang Tao, more substantial than what they had within the year of 2020, including things such as some of the most sophisticated reviving and life support technology available, oh, some of the well, best the world has ever seen, including a mobile cryo tank that they could use to keep the clients safe if they are in a critical condition, and oh, give them wow. enough time to get back to the med center without the client dying. Within Night City and many other cities during this point, trauma teams would now be equipped with the trauma team at Atlas AV, which would be a flagship product of Zeta Tech and the most popular oh. AV model used within Night City. That's this the one AV we see would be here. Extremely sleek in design and extremely dependable, hmm. meaning the trauma team would never have to worry about their equipment failing on them when they are out on. That's course. always important when doing, being a paramedic. Strength, their new pricing was yeah. revealed with them now having three types of packages, but for all paying customers, they would receive on the ground services, which would include 24 7 emergency AV dispatch with a reflex booster ready pilots, armed safety oh, experts, yeah. and military trained paramedics. However, to make sure their clients were being genuine and the emergency was necessary, all of their clients' health would be tracked by internal cyberware, and if ah, that's why I expected. That they were in need of assistance, yeah. an AV squad would use their cyberware to locate them and would arrive on the scene in minutes. Yeah, that's Although the scene I'm talking about. it's not specified how long exactly that would be, however, it is stated that that would be down to how much they were paying for their service. Impatient yeah. Care would be on top of that and would guarantee that every trauma team branch clinic would be equipped with surgical nanites, specialized antibodies, and cryogenic chambers. They would also offer their own God medication damn. and reanimators and would own a selection of surplus implants, which they would gain from their suppliers. As for the plans, however, they would be classed as premium packages. These packages would be color coded mm. and would be silver, gold, and platinum. For most, okay. the gold and silver were exactly like that of the services provided in 2020. 
2020 and 2045. However, the most significant package would be the Platinum, which would offer everything you could wish for. This would include 24-7 monitoring, emergency patient transport, surgery and nanosurgery, post-trauma oh. rehabilitation, plastic surgery on demand, God damn. the client's ripper doc, and up to 90% discount shit. off prescriptions. And oh, by the way, Crow, a rip doctor is basically someone that... Uh... Adds chrome or, you know, robotic parts to you. Oh. Yeah, that's what a rip doctor does. That's a lot, things, yeah. So would be guaranteed a three-minute yeah, response a time to make sure nothing bad happened to the client. Prices are not really known at this point. However, it's safe to assume anyone on the platinum package would be paying something similar to 34,000 euro dollars a month, God if damn. not even more at that point. For everyone else, they will be allowed a free 24-hour trial for Trauma Team's premium packages for if they cannot afford it in the long run. However, if they do Ooh. use it, that will be it. Yeah, and they will never that. be yeah. looked after again by Trauma Team <laughs> oh. unless they pay. For the most Whoa. part, this is the norm for God all within damn. North America and some countries. Trauma Team are there to care for their paying clients. However, they are far more ruthless with how they treat them and others around them. But that isn't to say that the people still respect Trauma Team as was found with the EMT within Night City in the year of 2077, named Nadia. EMT? Huh? Oh, so there are still some that care. Nadia was once an enthusiastic hmm. member of Trauma Team who had the best of intentions when signing oh, up. Oh, no. When joining, she really felt like she would be the one to make the difference. She would be able to help save people and would enjoy being a hero within the city. However, she quickly mm. realized that this job was not as simple as helping people out. It was no. far more hostile than that. On one call out to a platinum level client, Nadia and her team would head out into Westbrook to attend to the client. However, oh, a big no. game for Taking place here, leading to the team to drop into heavy fire and come out of their AVs guns blazing. The team got to the platinum level client and tried everything to make sure they were stabilized and could extract him, but they were pinned down under tons of fire oh. and in this battle. Nadia's own boyfriend mm. was killed in the process by one God of his psychos who was at the forefront of the attack. Oh, cyber psycho! let her head get out of the game. She had to oh, save wow. the client. That was her job. But as the squad was pinned down with the AV trying to clear a path, more and Fuck. more of her team were killed, eventually leaving just her left with the client as the psycho got closer and closer to her. Eventually, Nadia was successful and secured the client, however, had to leave behind God her damn. dead squad mates, including her own boyfriend. But she had to. The client was the priority, and she had done her oh, job. Big that cat. was all that had mattered. Getting back to the HQ, Nadia would suffer massive guilt after seeing all of her squad die around her. Everyone. And because of it, had to undergo psychological tests to make sure she could go back out there and do her job. But Makes Nadia sense. only ever pictured the face of her dead boyfriend. She was still suffering, but she also knew needed to keep her job and after reliving the moments just passed she was eventually cleared yeah, for duty and that ready is to continue that's on rough all around long after that nadia would yeah. join a new team and would immediately receive a platinum alert within pacifica a team oh assumed she was a rookie pacifica and... oh god no not pacifica that uh Who's that pacifica is the most contested area it seems to have been taken over by the voodoo boys gang uh, the police don't hmm. go there. Let me put it that way, Chrono. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. They don't go to Pacifica. Like, we're, like, literally in the startup when they're talking about the, like, the lottery that yeah. I told you about earlier. They said, yeah. and in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is Pacifica. Ah, uh, I see. They don't even labeled her as such but nadia was still stuck you do not the go there unless you know someone memories of the last mission yeah and knew that this one could go the same way arriving at the building within pacifica it was once again a hot zone as it was under gang control the av circled around waiting to fire on those wanting to attack them and eventually dropped off the two security officers as well as the emts including nadia all seemed okay. quiet at first as the team reached the client however they would go on to be ambushed by the many gang members who threatened to kill them saying something 
such things as go home, sore bones. You ain't taking him. Gonna get yourself geeked. As one of the team knows, oh, the it's the animals too. Crossfire. Nadia would freeze oh. in battle, remembering the events of last time, leading to a long hesitation before she administered the stimulant to stabilize him. Eventually, the team fought through the apartment complex, taking out any of the gang members they could. Yeah, I think those are the animals. The Only for Nadia to realize hmm. the horrors of the mission. The platinum client they were there to save was the very man who had killed her last squad oh back in west what was stunned and suddenly she had a problem on her hands did she prioritize her job which was to save the man or did she avenge her fallen squad members and her boyfriend who she still was the credit of the superpower of a space again, ring back up pretty much out of it and begrudgingly helped the platinum client by hitting him with the stim however during this process another team member Gordon would be hit by the gang members. Rushing to his assistance, her other squad mate would clear a path and tell Nadia to leave Gordon as he was gone. The job still needed to go ahead, and Gordon's body meant nothing anymore. The client was once again the priority. Nadia oh, here would be damn. reminded of what her job was and how her trauma team members were not as important as she had to get her head in the game and focus only on the client. During that order by the squad member Nap, the client would put on a smile and state the customer is always right this oh you're just asking for it her past and what he had done to her boyfriend back in Westbrook as you're just asking for it like come on dude in the side yeah. of the building for extraction it would get shot down by the gang members leaving the squad oh god in the building meaning that they had to extract the client down 100 flights of stairs fighting on every level at that point in time nadia remembered a conversation she had with her boyfriend before the events in watson in which he would say they needed to be focused at all times and not let relationships cloud their judgment with him asking if it came down to saving a customer's life or saving mine what would you do however before she could remember all of the conversation she would witness the client killing her boyfriend once again and realize this man will always plague her nightmares back in the apartment mm. the client would go on to help the squad out with taking uh. out a few of the gang members and as the team started extracting down the 100 floors yeah had enough i pulled don't. out her gun sticking it to the back of the client's head the other team members immediately took action yelling at nadia with strata grabbing her asking what is wrong with her after oh. trying to convince her that the client needed to die for what he had done before she was reminded once again that this was her job and she yeah. could not let her emotions get the better of her once again the extraction continued as the remaining there's only like three of them left down the many flights of stairs mm. but yet again they would get ambushed by the gang members with nap being hit in the process nadia went to comfort nap and realized he needed to get into a safe place as they brought him into a nearby apartment in the apartment however a mother and her daughter were hiding to only be revealed by strata and told oh. to come out the mother quickly asked for their assistance as she stayed Stated her daughter was extremely unwell and needed oh, help. No. Attending to Nap's injuries, Nadia would see the daughter's condition and knew she had to do something about it. It was what she joined Trauma Team to do in the first place. However, Strata objected and yelled at her, saying she needed to tend to Nap, not the girl. If she didn't, he would die, but it was too late, as Nap had passed in those very moments. Strata was quick to attack Nadia, claiming that she had let, let him, him die. Let him die? Dude, the he had... The gang members were here and ready to attack. Nadia was still conflicted at this point with what to do with the small girl in front of her, eventually saying that she had to help her as she had the right to treatment. But Strata was having none of it, stating she was not part of the mission. She was not a client, and because Dude. of her, she had let Nap die. She was nothing more than Singer. a little rat. Your as Strata continued blaming Nadia for everything that had gone wrong with the mission, the Platinum client, after being administered with a stim, had taken the fight to the gang members himself, oh, great. slaughtering them in seconds. And just as Strata and Nadia were about to kill each other, rushed in to claim that he had cleared a path for their extraction. As Nadia slowly dropped the gun she had held to Strata's head, she went on to give out medicine to the little girl, stating she needed to take one a day and eventually she will get better. Few That's good at least. A little bit of light. About it but it was time to go yeah. as they continued on extracting the now even more injured platinum client but as they got closer to the bottom of the apartment nadia's memories of her boyfriend came back into her mind oh, as she dear. 
once again remembered their conversation about who they would prioritize in a mission. Would they prioritize their lover or the client? With Ooh. Nadia claiming she would do anything and everything to save him if he were the one to go down, triggering her memory of that day oh, where she no. had lost him to the client she was now extracting. Finally, Strata and Nadia had got the client down to the bottom level of the apartment this and out good. into the street ready for their extraction from Pacifica and back to the corporate hospital. However, the battle was not over yet as they now uh. had to defend the area and the clients from the wave of gang members who were quickly following them. Dear God, Strata how many do they and have? Nadia came head to head with Strata claiming she was not ready to be back on the field. She had ruined the mission and had got all of the other members killed That's thanks what... to her overwhelming Oh emotions, my God, it's not her fault. And on the job at hand. But before things could get worse, the client snuck up behind Strata and snapped his neck. Oh! Him then and there. Nadia was once again the what only the fuck? one left and the client had been Why? responsible for the final death. Horrified at what she had just witnessed, yelling at the client, he would go on to Why? claim that she was the last good little med tech standing and Strata won't take that away from her now. But there was no time to think about what had just happened. What the hell? Why would you? I say he's under gang rule. I know that, but what the, the hell? Was now here, Why did he kill him? Had entered the battlefield. As the two tried to hide in the nearby alley, Nadia would be hit by a stray bullet, causing her to be not as effective in battle anymore. At that same time, I mean... the giant gang member grabbed the client and started to fight him with his gorilla arm cybernetics. As oh, the two no. fought, the client would oh, frequently wow. state that he was untouchable as he held platinum status and they would always defend him. But Nadia was overwhelmed and could not help at this yeah. point in time. Eventually, as all looked like it was over for the client, Nadia was able to grab her gun, aimed it towards the two, and shot the gang member square in the head, killing him instantly and saving the client from his inevitable fate. He's a As psycho. Nadia yeah. out, get away from my patient. As the two slowly went around the corner to the extraction point, the client would claim that he needed to be saved. He was an asset. Platinum coverage. Only the best. And oh because my of God. It, she was the best. She should be platinum exclusive that's what clients pay for but as they got what the hell does that mean the psychos and platinum membership do not mix well i can and tell once again haunted. i'm surprised he's a cyber psycho that's still alive usually they go crazy enough to where they just send in the heavily armed soldiers the gang members stood in their huh. way and it looked like it was all over for the two nadia would state to the client that this is the job this is what she had signed up for she was the one who wanted to get back out in the field and in that moment of realization mm -hmm. accepted her end however suddenly their backup had arrived as they uh. rode down all of the gang members in front of them as the backup team exited their vehicle the extraction was almost complete and the job was almost over however right. once again nadia looked at the client and remembered that day that started it all all she could picture was her boyfriend's dead corpse looking her in the eye as she realized she couldn't do it too many people had died and she had finished her mission. Time, as she remembered that for the final time she would draw her weapon to the back of the client's head triggering the other trauma team members to raise theirs and after yelling at her to drop it nadia would be conflicted between pulling the trigger and leaving him with the ghost of her boyfriend saying to her don't do this for me however the time well... had come and it was the end of their time Nadia would ask the client mm. one last question. How does it feel for the client to only respond with feels platinum before gunfire uh. was unleashed between all of the parties? You're talking Nadia's about Max Tech? Yeah, pretty much the heavily armed group. God damn. In summary, the trauma team are some of the best medical experts out there, but their job is far mm. more than that, and they are always at risk of being killed wherever they go. The pain client is their priority, and if that Feels means platinum. they lost two, three, four, or two whole squadrons to save a platinum client, so be it. That is the job yeah. at hand. Will the corporation continue to expand out in the future, or will it once again be affected by the world events around it? Only time can really tell. But for now, this has been the story behind the medical corporation known as Trauma Team International, as well as the brave EMT who lost her life to make a difference, who was named as Nadia from Night City. Mm. Just one of many stories like this I in Night City. Thank you for watching this video. Hmm. Do let me All know right, what you think of Trauma Team within the cyberpunk universe. For me personally, I'm devastated they got next to nothing in the game because their yeah. whole identity is so amazing and they are a hmm. core element within my Maybe they'll add in another thing. Top game. There was part of me that hoped they'd be there to revive your character when you flatline in the game, similar to how you go to hospital. That would be actually a very good idea. Apart from some rare encounters in your travels and the beginning mission, 
position, they played no part at all. Oh, why do you have to show up? Forward, they play a bigger part in I'm the story, cover that. similar yeah. to what Max Tack should also. Uh. But let me know what you think, and if you want to explore the Nadia story, yeah, Max Tack is basically you to check out the thank you for the headband. I'm not really sure if I have that set up for this model. As usual. I don't. If you want more cyberpunk <laughs> God damn it. from me, you can find a playlist link below, as well as many other videos and video game player 75. See you all in the next one. Cheers. I did like learning about that, but god damn, is, is it depressing as much as that everything else? Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, so, um, if you guys like us watching that and watching us talk about it, because that was incredibly interesting. I know we sat back there and listened to a number of it, but god damn, is, that's even more depressing than I thought it was. Yeah. I, um, don't know what else to say, honestly. But, uh... <laughs> I need to get back to playing that game at some point. I'll see about it later, but... Once again, I hope yeah. you guys like us watching his videos with us. I hope yeah. you guys have fun with us, and, um, if you want us to watch more, tell us down below. Like the video. T because... Honestly, the views, the likes, the comments, they tell us you want us to watch more. They let us know what exactly what you guys want. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, Bye. subscribe to help us, and good night.